what's going on YouTube my name is Eric Young today I'm gonna to be doing another 3d tutorial finally sorry I've just been busy with all my crypto mining and everything else but today I'm going to show you how to do a lightsaber draw like this girl this can also be applied to many other methods of using element 3d along with saber so let's go ahead and get started some of the stuff I've already been over before so I'll try to go through it as fast as possible and I'll leave tutorials in the description so you can follow along easier if you haven't seen my past tutorials all right so with After Effects open, we'll just go ahead and start a new project. We'll create a new composition. We'll make sure it's 60 frames per second. Say, it's probably only gonna be about a three second animation, but we'll give it six just to be safe. And we'll call this Saber Draw. And then we're gonna go into Fuse and create a character. So now we have our character model. We'll go ahead and save her. And then we'll send it to Mixamo. And then after it's fully rigged it, just click standard skeleton and click finish. And then we're going to animate it, but you can go ahead and download the character if you want to, but we just need the animation. So here's she thing and here's withdrawing. Make sure we download at 60 frames per second. And we'll move it in here, right click, open with, Cine 40. So this one is sheathing. So we'll go ahead and shift click all these, right click and click group objects. Click on it, hit enter, and we'll call this sheath. I don't know if I spelled that right, whatever. And then you're gonna need to go to a website like TurboSquid and download a free lightsaber. So just to show you how to do this, we'll just download the FBX file merge objects sword and as you see the sword is way too big so delete the Sun and then we'll go to scaling and I kind of just eyeball it to be honest everyone knows what a lightsaber looks like and then we'll need to move it into her hand There we go. And then we'll go to her skeleton, spine, move down the spine, find her right shoulder, move down that until you find hand. And then we'll name this Saber Model. And we'll bind that to her right hand. And now when she moves, she'll sheath it. Well, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to color the Saber Model. We'll make new materials for it. Just keep making colors you haven't used yet, and you'll see why we're going to do this once we get it into After Effects. And there we go. After we got all that, we'll select her. And then we'll go over to Plugins, and then we'll go to Steady Bake, which I'll include a download for in the description. Click Steady Bake record and go down and find where you want to save it there we go and have these settings selected and click OK then go into After Effects do a new layer solid this will be element and then we'll do file import 3d sequence and we'll do the draw first import the first one click OK and then we'll build the scene around her so I usually just use the star pack because I'm lazy. So now we have our scene. We'll actually go ahead and color that lightsaber. So all these colors here are the lightsaber. We're actually going to leave the red just normal. All right, and to set up a camera, we're actually going to do something kind of creative here. Go ahead and save the project so we don't lose her. Just create a null no object. Make it 3D and make sure that that is on her. And then we'll call this camera dolly. Connect it to the camera. And now it will rotate around her. We can also use it to zoom in and zoom out. So the first thing we need to do is go down to the render options and set this to preview to make it render faster. 
will also stop her where she sheaths her weapon. All right, now comes the fun part. Whether you wanna move the camera or anything, you need to do that first. So if we're gonna go stationary, that's fine. But let's just do a small camera orbit just for fun. There we go. We want a little bit of a tighter shot. Just change the camera settings and that looks pretty good. We can actually also set this on draft. It should render a lot faster. So after we have the camera settings down, the next step is to of course add a new solid. And this one is going to be our saver layer. Set it to add. And then we'll turn the glow intensity down. Find out where the start is, where the end is. And then I usually like to make the start size a little bit bigger. There we go. And now we're gonna keyframe these two. If you've ever seen Andrew Kramer's Saber tutorial, you know exactly where this is going. So next, we're just gonna animate her forward, frame by frame. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little bit rushed, but I'm gonna try to make it as good as I can. And we'll actually end it right here because by now it should just have been put away. All right, now she puts it away. We'll animate it going away. So we'll start with the end size, or not the end size, the end offset makes it go away. So mark it there. By the time it gets there, it should be gone. And now what we'll actually do is go back into our scene setup and then we'll click that red material and we'll just turn it off. And there we go. Now we can go back to the saber settings. Well, actually, let's set it to full render. Find a spot where she's swinging it and find something we like. It could be anything. You can modify it. It's the star killer beam. We'll do haze. That looks fun. And then there's going to be one more thing we need to add, which is lighting. So to do that, we'll go ahead and create a new light. Do a parallel. I always like to do yellow and blue or orange and blue, but that's a little Hollywood bias, I guess. We could also use lights in the render options, but I don't like those. Speaking of render options, we'll go ahead and turn on shadows. And then we'll make another light uh, a little bit less intense, shining the opposite way, a lot less intense. Let's see what red looks like. Yeah, it gives a little red hue. We'll go in the editing or the render settings, and I might actually add one there built-in lights. Okay, and then also we'll want to turn on ambient occlusion. Now the only problem is creating a reflection on the floor, so we can try to trick that by duplicating it, rotating it upside down, and then lowering the opacity. And that sort of tricks a reflection on the ground, so that works. So the opacity may be 55. A little bit brighter and then the only thing we'll need from there is the light from the lightsaber so how we're gonna actually do this is we're gonna click element 3d and we're gonna click on her hand or her arm over and over either one and we're gonna create points for the light to follow so we'll go through hand generate one there moving forward six frames at a time Right, now you'll see why I did these. Create a new light, do maybe 75% just to start. Create something to replicate that blue. And it needs to be a point light. Just to make this easy, we'll move it up here. And we'll click position, keyframe it, click position, copy, paste, delete that one. Move forward six frames, position, copy, Paste, delete, one, two, three, four, five, six. Position, copy, paste, one, two, three, four, five, six. We might have gone a little too fast. Make sure the markers are still on his hand. Now the light should follow. <laughs> yeah, you can see it there, barely. Let's turn up the intensity. I'm gonna try moving it out a little bit. See if we can get a little bit better glare. It's always worth the shot. So yeah, it looks pretty good to me. So one more thing we'll do is a adjustment layer. We'll call this looks. If you don't have looks, you need to get it. 
bolts from the magic bolt suite and it's awesome and then I like to add a quick chromatic key a little to give it a little punch I'll just do a normal curve it's pretty good now I'm just messing with colors all right and then there's still one last thing we need to do which is one more adjustment layer and then we'll type in motion blur and we'll actually use pixel motion blur we usually set that to like eight samples and that I usually find is best for uh, motion blur you can screw element 3d because element 3d is actually projecting a 2d image from a 3d scene if that makes any sort of sense so m really doesn't matter how you do motion blur so if you do motion blur like I did with just an adjustment layer it's gonna render out perfectly if you need a little bit more blur you can add CC force motion blur to that and it will make it even more blurry but it will definitely increase render times so with that being said we'll call this looks and make sure everything looks nice maybe move that down a little bit further so it's not crossing her foot make sure the render settings are all what I want uh, you can go down here to output and mess with the specular and diffuse and reflectivity and then there's actually one last thing we need to do that I forgot which is create an environment unless you just want to use the basic environments find something that matches the scene at backlight environments usually work pretty well just for funsies let's see what this looks like actually came out pretty good all right well thanks for watching this tutorial guys i don't think i need to do another tutorial of how to draw it i think you get the gist it's pretty simple just animate it and add in saber so i'm gonna go ahead and render this and i'll edit this tutorial when i get time and thanks for watching this video guys if you liked it hit the like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more future videos